Bing Bong Pong. Hello, guys. Uh, we finally managed to get a, to a uh, milestone with the project. We managed to get uh, things working in a in a uh, state that we can show people. It started to look like the schematic which we uh, drawn in episode two, and we are going to show you now a small demo of uh, what the guys did this weekend. This week. We've been uh, working on getting the program calendar finished and connected, uh, so that's now been tested as well. So we've been testing going on, which isn't really something to show you, but things work. And um, we have, in a statement, we can now sort of demo them to you when we've got time to set it up. Yeah. So the idea is just that when we clock the, when we, whenever the clock cycles, the program calendar will just increment. Um, we had a little bit of trouble with it. We sort of switch jump, meaning that it was incrementing six or seven at a time. Uh, and oh, we blew a transistor up as well, which smelled quite a bit. But anyway, um, here's a little video clip. Which was my transistor. Yeah, it was Andre's transistor. <laughs> anyway, here's a little video clip of it actually incrementing. So this here is our program counter display unit. The idea is that when we when we send the uh, when we clock it, it will be incremented by one. Um, so when we press this button here, we would expect it to be incremented by one. Um, and go to zero. So uh, as you can see, it's gone to two. We've got some switch bounce in here. This is a mechanical switch, and um, when we actually get an oscillator wired up, uh, wired up, hopefully it'll be fine. But for now, it's counting well enough that we're pretty sure it is actually doing it one at a time. We've put some desk values in, just hardwiring it. But yeah, it doesn't always add just one at the moment. So anywhere between naught and ten, <laughs> well, one and ten. The problem is that there is a spring in that in that button, and it it. Uh, it bounces off and it triggers the switch more times than we actually intended to. So, by well, the time we get an oscillator in there, it'll be it will be incrementing by one perfectly. Yeah, with a nice Fingers even crossed. input signal. Hope you liked it. Uh, I've not been uh, I've not been wasting my wasting time uh, during this week. I uh, managed to get the other fully working. It adds numbers properly and we are going to show it in a proper video next time. Okay, yeah. that's about it, so yeah. bye. bye. Okay, so you may have noticed the uh, shots taken with the iPhone a bit, little bit shaky. So uh, this week we've got a special solution, which is this uh, tripod, as we call it for some bizarre reason, <laughs> um, which makes it more stable. So we have an uh, angle adjustable here with various bits of wire to keep it stiff or not. And it's height adjustable as well, so we can sort of take a slightly wider variety of more stable shots with the iPhone now. 